I've been with Pizza Ranch for almost six years now. Um, I started out over here at our Dilworth store that opened approximately eight and a half, nine years ago. And uh, just for the training, that type of thing, before I went out to corporate for training. Uh, then I came back and I opened the Fargo store and that'd be about five and a half, almost six years ago. The core values that Pizza Ranch has is to give every guest a legendary experience. And a lot of that uh, comes from the simple fact that we are a buffet um, where it's normally not a sit-down, but we have several things in place that allows us to offer some of the sit-down amenities, such as Buffet Your Way, where you can request any pizza that you would like. We'll bring it to your table, serve you as much as you want, put it on the buffet. The other part of our vision and mission statement, that the vision statement that just got changed is to give every guest a legendary experience, but also to glorify God by positively impacting the world we live in, which gets right to the core of our core values, which ties in very nicely with Farm Rescue. We had a, a couple folks from uh, Farm Rescue come in and talk to our whole co-op about what they do, how they do it, what they need, and how they need help. And you know, after that, there wasn't a person in our co-op, I don't think, that said this is exactly what we're all about. And in our communities, as most of the communities that have Pete's Ranches are very uh, dependent on the farmers, and if the farmers are doing well, everybody's doing well. And we know it's, it feeds the whole country. So um, for us to get involved with uh, Farm Rescue was really a no-brainer, and it just made so much sense to uh, give back to the community and that is giving to us because when you get a farm family that does get hurt it's not like you can put everything on hold you're gonna lose a fortune if you don't get that crop out of the field and get it into the silos and we do know that it's very big equipment very expensive equipment and you need people to operate it and so you can see your money in action you can see them working you can hear the stories of the farm families that have been helped and you know, uh, if the person was ill or it got hurt or, or that type of thing that couldn't do it. And we hear frequently from guests that, you know, that are farmers that will support you because you're supporting them. And whether they've needed farm rescue in the past or not, farmers love it and we're a farm community and that is our customer base. And so they, uh, they appreciate the fact that we, you know, try to give back and help as much as we can. Pizza Ranch started in 1986 in Hull, Iowa, a uh, very small town in Iowa. Adrian Grunewig uh, and his father started it after the, the story I heard, and I don't know if it's folklore or if it's true, is that Adrian had a good suggestion for a pizza and the owner of the place he was working at uh, wasn't buying into it and so he left and him and his dad opened a pizza ranch and the rest is history. Um, and it's not as easy as history as it just sounds there. Uh, there's now 186 pizza ranches. Um, at the time, there was only one. And so to take it as far as they've taken it, uh, I believe it was very uh, you know, adamant staying with the core values and keep you know, preaching that you know, it's got to be good food, good quality, good service, good people, and you have to give something back to the community that'll support you. A lot of our business is buffets, and we do have a mile-long buffet, and it's uh, pizza, a lot of different varieties of pizza, cheesy ranch sticks, we have our chicken buffet. Uh, we call it the country's best chicken, and it truly is. We do hear that frequently, um, and there are several tricks to our chicken which makes it uh, uh, you know, extremely good. And then we have a full salad bar with soup. Um, and we have ice cream at our two stores. Not every pizza ranch has ice cream, but it's a good way to finish off a, a buffet, that type of thing. And then we have dessert pizza, of course. All of our food and everything we also deliver. Uh, we deliver to a radius at both of our stores. Uh, and it's actually a fairly large delivery area, being that we are close to the interstates. And so it, it does make it easier to access a lot of different places. But we make sure our delivery time is such that when the food does get there, it hasn't been traveling for 40 minutes. And so we keep it, you know, short time so that we can get the pizza out hot and fresh and just so it's like you picked it up. We do have a pickup uh, available as well, and we have a drive-up window in both of our locations. Um, as much as I'd like to say today is a nice day at 65, 70 degrees, um, in a few months that's going to change dramatically, and parking a long ways away from the front door and walking in to get your pizza uh, or chicken is not desirable. So the drive-up window makes it very easy to call ahead and pick up your food right at the window. 
in addition, we do have um, catering available as well, and we do a lot of different church groups, that type of thing, where they will order chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, vegetables. Uh, we have these uh, wonderful biscuits uh, that go very well with uh, a lot of different catering. And so we cater, you know, reunions to, we've even catered weddings. We've actually had two weddings that actually took place in our uh, banquet rooms in Fargo. And they come back every year and have an anniversary party at Fargo because that's where they got married. And so we have banquet rooms at both places. So if people want to come in and, and do either a business meeting or a Christmas party, or we do a lot of Christmas parties, there is no room charge as long as the folks are eating. And so we try to keep the price as, as low as we can, um, but we still want to make sure we're serving a very quality product and uh, do the best job we possibly can.